Hey everyone, so I just finished filming this week's Wednesday video um, because weekly put up on Monday when, or Wednesday and Friday video and I just realized I didn't say anything about really in the shooting and the whole Christina Grimmy thing and it's not like I feel like I have to I feel like I need to Orlando, we stand with you in here in Kentucky. Um, my hometown of Lexington lit up our Triangle Park the other night. And there goes a Facebook message when I'm trying to be deep in stuff. Um, and it was beautiful. Here's a picture. And also, last night I saw on Facebook that my college have a little walkway thing um, that we used to get from one side of campus well like an apartment complex on campus to main campus and it's I forget what they actually call it but anyway um that was a little the other night too or I saw it last night um and here's the picture we stand with you, Orlando. I personally stand with you. Um, unfortunately, we are in times still where there's a low tolerance for certain things, and it shouldn't even be a tolerance. It should be just acceptance. People are all unique individuals, and with, that's what make us, makes us human. And Jimmy Fallon said it so well. So I'm going to put his video about Orlando. It's just like a minute, almost two minute video. But it just kind of, it was, it was really well said. I am in such shock that this happened. Um, and they say it's, you know, the deadliest U.S. shooting or like, terrorist attack type thing or however they word it forgive me for wording things wrong since 9-11 and it's just so crazy because I was alive then and I'm alive now like I've had to you know witness these things you know in my lifetime and you know people talked about that you know when we were born that you know, there was no more racism and you know, no more segregation. But unfortunately, even without segregation being existent, there's still hate. There's hate because of race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, you name it. There's people that are going to hate people, a certain group of people, or make an assumption about a certain group of people there's still people that are, that are gonna do that and I'm just gonna be flat out honest with you guys because I always try to be some of those people are in my family and I hate it um, I don't know if he ever watches my videos but I heard my dad say to somebody at a family reunion over the weekend that he has a lot of same political views as my grandfather. So, Dad or Peppa, if you're watching, I couldn't have more opposite views as them. And it's just... I watched this video. I'm about to cry and I don't know why. I, don't, I didn't expect this video to be so long, so I think I'm going to upload it today. Um, Tuesday. Um, or try to because my, my internet's so slow. But anyway, um, I remember watching this video. I, it was in another elementary school, middle school, high school, I don't know. I can't remember. But the base of it was that it starts with you. Um, you can be raised to believe many different things, but you alone have the choice whether you stick with those beliefs or you make your own. And 
I think we should all make our own. Unless, you know, you feel like it's the right thing to believe in. Um, have your own beliefs. You don't have to agree with your family just because they're your family. Um, you have to be cordial with them, like you're cordial with anybody else with a different opinion. But, that's just common sense, in my opinion. Well, this was more than I expected. I actually was going to try to put this at the end of Wednesday's video, but now it's its own video. And, my hair is a mess. I'm in pajamas. And, I'm on Facebook about to try to edit Wednesday's video, but this is just going to be a quick one take. So thank you guys for watching. Please pray, send good vibes, whatever you believe in, to Orlando. They need it right now, but I know they can get through it. And I just automatically thought, before I knew it was a night club, real quick, I thought of Danny Duncan. Travis Clark and Snacks. I, I, and of course Travis and his family. I didn't mean to leave them out of the mix, but I read about all of them, and then I found out more about it, and I was like, okay, and saw them posting and saw that all was all. And speaking, I said something about Jimmy Fallon, but I also want to take the time to say Snacks. If you know who Snacks is, because you know We the Kings has. The greatest awesome sound guy ever, Snacks. He did so well. He handled it so well. Well, I don't want to say he handled it well. His words were really powerful. And I really took them to heart. But okay, guys, I'm sorry this is such a long one take. I really didn't expect it to be this much. But thank you guys for watching. Watch out for my video tomorrow. Unfortunately, I did not get to do my, you know, my new series again. But it's okay. We'll roll with it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.